Hey guys, in this video, I want to show us how to cut a mullet, also known as high low peplum, in a very easy and fast way. Your fabric or pattern should be unfold like so. Then, in the midpoint, you'll be using the measurement of your top, that is the desired measurement or the length of the peplum. That is what you'll be using to determine the size. So, usually in this case the front is always shorter than the back then on your fabric from the beginning of your pattern on your fabric so I assume this is where my fabric will be starting from so from the starting point of your fabric or pattern like this you will measure the front length okay your desired front length you'll measure it like so here I will be using 11 inches okay so from that front length you will now mark your circumference radius okay just like you do for your normal peplum the normal way you calculate your circumference radius that is where you will mark it okay the circumference radius is the place you are fixing or you want to join the mullet to either your waist your knee or your wrist your neckline or whatever you want to join to that is where you will use to calculate the radius okay so and for this radius now, it, it depends on how wide you want it to be, how much pleat you want, how much fullness you want. This will determine. So after marking the normal radius, you can add as much as 5, 7, 10 inches, depending on how much pleat you want around that area. You will add it to the radius. So now I'll just take the back measurement. You know, the back measurement is longer than the front. So this depends on you, how much length you want, how long you want it to be, and how much your fabric is. So I'll just mark this down straight like so. Okay. So that is where my back length will be stopping from. This is just a top, so I don't want it to be too long. So from the center, you can just measure what you have. This is what you use to measure around because... You will need to connect the edge of the peplum, okay? So, from your hold radius, you can determine how much inches you want to add. So, me, I'll be using one inches. Then, I'll connect it from the center, like so, back to the new measurement. And that is my new radius line, okay? That is where I'll be cutting from. So, from this now, I will have a little bit of plate. So... Then I'll confirm my measurement. So my new measurement for the back is now 14 inches. Okay, so now to now connect the edges because I'll have to shape the edge back to the center. That is the side. Then I'll measure from the center like so to where my measurement stops and have a little bit of curve shape. Just like we do for our normal peplum. That's how you do it and you connect it back to the center line, okay? So, and as for the front, you repeat the same process, okay? So, this mullet or high-low can be used on any kind of dress. Even in bridals, they make use of mullets, okay? And then to have a structure, a standing mullet, you have to add a crinoline mesh or an interface, anything that can make it stand on its own. That is what you will have to eat to make it stand. So at the back, I'll be fixing a zipper. Remember I said this is going to be on a top, okay? Because normally the back, it can be like that. And most time, mullet is always open at the front, okay? It's just going to be on the waist and sometimes it is always detachable okay so but in this case it's not going to be detachable i'll be fixing a zipper at the back so after cutting i'll just open the back because of the zipper allowance so mind you if you are fixing this to your blouse you need to have a zipper allowance okay so and this is what we have the front is shorter than the back of course so guys this is all for the mullet for the high low as you can see so how much more fabric you have will determine how wide it is going to be so i'll just open this like so 
and this is what we have guys so when you want to run your plate it can be clockwise it can be anti-clockwise can be any how you want it you can run a kissing plating or box plate whatever you know it as okay so that's a rehaul for it and as you can see we have a high look peplum already okay guys and after which you have caught this you can always explore your creativity and cut it the way you are like <laughs> as long as you can get what you wanted so that will be all for this bullet thanks for watching